So we're going to spend the next couple of days exploring the south coast, checking out some hidden gems that our friends have told us about. So come along, see what we can find. Okay, fun day today. We have pretty much just had a driving day. Uh, we are headed from the Blue Mountains all the way to the south coast down past Batemans Bay to stay with some friends for a few nights. So we'll see you on the coast. Did I mention I hate the Great Dividing Range like with a passion? So not my thing. Give me the Nullarbor any day. Beaches. We've got to get to the beach. No, don't <laughs> like that either. <laughs> ah, and little did I know that once we got to Tassie, the hills were going to be way higher, windier and scarier. But hey, I'm actually quite used to hills now. And I even drove in Tassie. So these are some of the things you learn as you're living on the road. I don't know. I reckon that was scarier than coming down off um, Waterfalls way when we came that way. Oh, a piece of cake, right gears, look, right brakes. I'll give no Kane his due. I would not be able to do any of this without him because there is no. Well, we made it to Goldburn and we wanted to look for the big merino, so we sort of driving around and we found huge crowd of people. Look at them, ah, and the big merino. Have a look. I don't know. They're all here to have a look. Take a photo. <laughs> There's no Instagram shots in this big merino all by yourself unless you come here at midnight. Now this is free camping at its best. Check this out. We're at our friend's place, the Kellys, in Browley. Look at this beautiful spot. They're doing building over here. Come around to here. A beautiful garden. How nice to have beautiful green grass in our setup. No wind and a thing up there called sunshine. Tell you, we are loving having a little bit of sun now. Bit over the wind, the rain, the cold. So we came to the south coast and we've got beautiful sunshine. So we decided while the sun's shining, we might as well get out and check out all the cool things around the south coast. Come see some of these hidden gems that we have found. Super cool. Uh, yeah, definitely turned it on here at um, Naruma. Ocean's looking really nice. The sun is out and shining. And we're gonna look for some seals. What? I'm getting footage. Footage. Got footage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 is that a mum joke? We only do dad jokes around here, thank you. Because mum jokes are funnier. <laughs> no, they are not. Ha <laughs> ha, look what we found here. Just lazing in the clear waters. Oh, and showing off some fin work. Bit of fin work too. And obviously flipping us the moon. Hey little fella. Go and get mama. He's going mama. Mama must be out in the water. And the little fella is heading out to mama. Mama. Look at him, must be a baby one. Great big one over there. Big fat ones up here. Tell you what fellas, better bark yourselves because you smell. <laughs> oh, at least he didn't get his cup of coffee this morning. This is the coffee free zone up here. Yeah, they're all a bit crankier up here. Yeah. 
big bully. Look at this big bully down there. He's bullying everyone to try and get his best rock. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you comfortable now? Oh, now I am. <laughs> so <clears throat> hey, this is a big seal on the rock up in here. <laughs> Seriously, be nice. How cool is this? How cool is this thing? It's awesome. Check out all the seals. So that's fuzzy rock behind us. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Sometimes when you're on your road, you just need your own time. So we took a moment and we uh, had our own time exploring the Naruma coastline. It was magical. So what have you been doing? Exploring. Oh, lovely. And what did you find? Uh, like the blue little stinger things and the red urchin and clamshells, all the cool things. Right, eh? we're at uh, Central Tilba, I think it is. It's a very historic little town. It's all converted into some awesome little stores and shops and... Um, Lolly shops, ice cream shops, dairy very, shops. Very crafty, very, very good to come out for a visit. Definitely worth the day yeah, trip. Yeah, nice little day trip out here. Why are we in this shop? Because it's got lollies and Somebody likes the sweets shop. Somebody wants everything. Chili grabs, fudge. Hmm, yummy. The original ABC factory was built in 1891. This building, I think, was built in about 1925. Uh, they just used the first three letters of the alphabet. The factory was taken over by Bega in 1972 and sold to a private person in 1981. After it was deemed no longer viable by Bega, obviously, the new owners commenced production of the now famous Tilba Club Cheese. Loving this beautiful green rolling hills on our way to Badella. When in Badella, head to the dairy shed. Well, I'm going to throw another controversial uh, thing out there. Badella ice cream. It is our best. It's definitely Yum. better than any's from Bathurst, which we tried. Um, um, yeah, definitely. Uh, probably controversy all over the country. It'll be big news, this, but yep, Badella ice cream. It is the best. But we're already planning what flavour we're going to come back in yep. tomorrow. We so, will be back. What did we try today, Kate? We tried um, Badella and honey was mine. And honey, and I had the honey... The hokey pokey, hokey pokey, which had like real toffee in it, real toffee. Yeah, yes, I know. She thought hers was better than mine. To be honest, the milk and honey I felt was probably a little bit better than the yeah, hokey pokey. Mine had more flavour. I don't know. Is it, it's ice cream. The ice cream has just got so much flavour. Probably a lot of cream. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. I'm going to try the kakadu plum because that sounded nice. Yes. So, Badella for the win. While in Bedella, why not check out this old Anglican church? Fact, my cousin actually got married here. Pretty cool. Did you see that? Bedella pub has been voted the best pub in Bedella. 1877 it was built and it is currently the only pub in Bedella, so hence probably pre a pretty good buddy odds on bet to be voted the best. We're staying at some fellow travellers we met quite a while back. They were travelling Oz too, so they're now living in oh, near Mossy Point, or we could say Batemans Bay for anyone who sort of knows that spot. They were in the OG group before tripping a bear. They were, they were. They did it with four young girls, and we just happened to be travelling with our two boys at the time, but they were full time. We were just on a sort of a long holiday. Back on the tools, Kay. To be honest, I. <laughs> but Jared's I'm just really going doing it all. Oceans. I'm just going through the motions. <laughs> just making him feel better. Because you felt bad just standing there watching. 
Okay, ready for our next e-biking adventure. We're at Browley and we're gonna go check out some of the beaches and things. Should be cool. Loving the e-bikes. Look at the places that they can take us. School. Browley Rock Reserve. How cool is this place? I want a starfish though. Looking for a starfish. Like concrete netball court. Awesome, it's so cool. Now, hey. now to find the starfish. Woo, let's go. Well, old Danny seats. Perch here for a little sit. Ah. Oh, yeah. This toilet, this Danny seat that I'm on. <laughs> it's a 10 out of 10. Not sure about the washing of the bottom. I was going to say, well, otherwise the crabs will just come in, <laughs> you know, clean it up for you. Woohoo! <laughs> toilet! Kane's got crabs! <laughs> Flames coming! Holy! <laughs> Shadow in there anyway. Hello, everybody, crabbers! Well, if you've liked this Ripper episode, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the like button for us, it really does help out, and stick with us for the next one. See what we can find. I was gonna say, hey, hey fellas, I don't think the deodorant you're using is much good. Try wet dog. Can anyone tell me why he would be holding his tail like that? Or she? I don't know he or she, but, you know, why that sort of lay? I've asked the question, but she, I think it is, will not answer me. Just wants to lay there floating in the water. Really hard, because some days you just need a rest from resting. <laughs> Got to work to pay for my vacation. <laughs> Thomas, well you have to get to work now. <laughs>